What is going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a great Tuesday. Uh, fun night last night. Got to win the win in the 250, um, and I got the uh, third place in the 88, which I almost won. And unfortunately, the 250 was my third lineup that I had, and I had two lineups in the 777. So uh, tonight I'm playing three in the 777 because that would have won the 777 and that would have been obviously a 100K score. So, but still a 20K profit night, not going to be upset about it. Really, really good night overall. Thought the process was good. I do want to point out, you guys, I have my, my, my early builds that I post on dra on, uh, for DraftKings and FanDuel on the site under uh, Bobby Fye's uh, builds. And that lineup that I won with, which almost, and I finished 11th in the lottery one, that, that lineup was posted on there yesterday. And uh, I, I made one, one or two tweaks usually to those lineups and that one was uh, pretty much the same. So I would advise you guys to take a look at that if you are true DFS members. If you're not, you're making a mistake. So come on and join us. Anyway, we'll get into today's slate. It's going to be a quick rundown. A huge slate, great, great options everywhere. I really couldn't fault you for about 12 different stacks that you might want to play. For me, the ones that I'm focused the most on are Toronto, Boston, uh, St. Louis and a mini stack from Cleveland. I'm also going to filter in some Atlanta, Philadelphia, mini red stacks, and the Dodgers. I will throw in one or two, even though I don't love it. I'm open to it uh, just because they're going to be very unowned. And uh, obviously we know that the offense is capable of, even though they've struggled lately, uh, to say the least. But uh, th that's my sort of core uh, build. The core ones are going to be built around Toronto, Boston, mainly then St. Louis and then the Cleveland mini stacks to try and get away from Cleveland chalk because any kind of chalk on this slate is go going to feel a little bit fishy uh, to play as your main stacks as your five mans. Not to say I won't have any Cleveland five mans, but it's certainly not gonna be a priority. And where I do, I will be playing weird pitchers like Bieber in Colorado. Um, the, the pitchers are, are clearly at the top for me are Cole. I expect a big bounce back from him. Dylan Cease and Pavetta are my three favorites. But I will mix in some Bieber. I will mix in some Manaya. I will mix in some Male. Uh, Bieber and Manaya are in the best hitting weather on the slate, so you kind of kind of makes you nervous. But they're not going to get owned at all, and they're talented enough to be able to uh, potentially be the highest scoring pitchers on the slate. Uh, uh, Ryan, uh, Logan Ryan, I, I like quite a bit. I'm uh, open to, to Gilbert, Kikuchi, and Bassett are, are a little bit further down the list for me. But I am going to be mixing in some different pitching options. I really like the Cole Pavetta C's, but they're going to be fairly chalky. So like I said, if I do play those Indians, I'd like to get them in with some Bieber um, and stuff like that. On FanDuel, you've got some discounted prices that I wanted to point out. Uh, Tiasca Hernandez is really cheap over there. Uh, you know, there's uh, Bethancourt is cheap over there. If you're not going to play Pavetta, I do think Bethancourt's a good catching option on DraftKings as well. Uh, you've got the, the, cheap, uh, the cheap bats from uh, Boston. Ref Schneider, it's not exciting, but it felt fill out a stack and it helps you spend up for pitching and build get the rest of the hitters you really want. So I don't mind doing it if I'm going to stack Boston playing those cheap bats. Um, anyway, so I'll be live at six Eastern and I look forward to seeing you all there. There won't be any NBA to run through, but we'll spend a good 20 minutes probably talking about tonight's slate and what we're going to do. And uh, let's crush it. Hopefully uh, we have some more screenshots to go to the round tonight. I know that uh, our guy Evan scans in, in Discord is had, uh, he had a nice night as well. And hopefully we can keep the, uh, the momentum going. So good luck to everybody tonight, and I'll see you live at 6 Eastern.